some of the most vulnerable people. Yeah. Um, I, I think you're answering a different question, Mr. Tukhanan. Is there a safe and legal route for that women's activist in fear of her life in, in Iran who's got family members here? The reality is, Michelle, there are safe and legal routes for many people in different ways. What's, and her, what's her safe and legal route? Well, if you are able to get to the UK, you are able to put in an application for asylum. But I would only enter the UK illegally then, wouldn't I? Well, that, that would, if you put in your application for asylum uh, upon arrival, that would uh, be the, the process that you enter. How could I arrive in the UK if I didn't have permission to get onto an aircraft legally to arrive in the UK? Uh, let me just invite other colleagues if there's anything they want to add. And that scenario I've given to you, I, d I don't think she has a safe and legal route Michelle, to, to know, access, the, uh, access the asylum system in the UK. Are there, are there more safe and legal routes coming? If, and uh, I won't do that. Would someone in that position be able to access them? If an Iranian woman were able to come to the United Kingdom, and some do, woman in a tent in the middle of a field and claim asylum, then uh, that would be respected. But they'd come on a boat now, wouldn't they? Whereas uh, no, if that some... happens in the future, they couldn't access the asylum system. They'd detaining people and deported to Rwanda fly a plane taking off to Rwanda. That's my dream. That's my dream. It's when my will that session. happen? Michelle, actually some are coming to rejoin their families on, on family visas and then claim asylum when they're here. So it's not, I'm afraid it's not simply by boats.